Christianity is based on a great mystery, and that means it is incomprehensible. Our scientific prove-it-to-me age doesn't like mystery. It wants everything explained. And so it can't imagine that Jesus is truly 100% divine and truly 100% human. That just doesn't make logical sense. But that's the nature of mysteries which go beyond human reason. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and those thoughts came to me today because we're celebrating Pope Leo the Great, who helped the Church at the Council of Chalcedon in the year 451 declare its faith in this mystery. Pope Leo couldn't attend the Council, but he wrote a letter to it, and here's part of the letter. He who is true God is also true man. Invisible in his own nature, he became visible in ours. And he whom nothing could contain was content to be contained. Abiding before all time, he began to be in time. Being God who cannot suffer, he did not disdain to be man that can suffer, and, immortal as he is, to subject himself to the laws of death, to be hungry and thirst, to be weary and to sleep, is clearly human, but to satisfy five thousand with five loaves, to walk on the surface of the water and to quell the waves by rebuking the winds, is without any doubt divine. For as God is not changed by the showing of pity, so man is not swallowed up in the dignity of the divine. The assembly of bishops responded, Peter has spoken through Leo. Yet perhaps it would be better to say, that the same Spirit, the Holy Spirit, who spoke through St. Peter, spoke through St. Leo at this critical moment, and continues to speak through Pope Benedict.